My name is Zach LaPerriere, and I'm an Alaskan woodworker specializing in wood bowls that I make from salvaged old growth trees. Part of making wood bowls for me is being involved in every step of the process. I just love starting out with finding a tree in the forest, cutting it down, packing it out, all the way to oiling a finished bowl a year later. For me, it's a whole process and it's a way of getting to know that tree. Sometimes just getting a tree is the biggest adventure. Seems like the most interesting trees for me are old growth trees that live way up the valley. So it's, it's often a lot of work just to get the bull stock out. On a recent trip, uh, we knew that there were some amazing trees about a mile up the valley, and that's just too far to pack stuff out on our back. So what we did was we just waited for a big pile of snow and then went up, brought chainsaws in, uh, processed the material, and sledded all the material out to the high tide line at Saltwater. Then waited a few weeks, took our skiff in, and uh, pulled it all out in a couple of trips. The most exhilarating part of the bull adventure definitely is cutting down a tree. Now to start with, I only cut dead trees. So dead trees present a much greater challenge because they're often rotten at the base. So standing there with a big chainsaw, it's just really intimidating. But it's part of the process and it's also kind of enjoyable. I always learn from it, but uh, to say the least, it's kind of scary. I come from a family of craftsmen. As a young boy, I spent countless hours watching my parents practice their trades. I learned to never rush the process. Roundaboutly, I learned to be a perfectionist, and I learned to always value quality foremost. When I shape a tree into bowls, I peel away layers to best show the story of the tree. I include knots, knot holes, bark, live edges, all sorts of different things. Because when you hold that bowl, I want you to not think of it just as wood. I want you to think of it as a piece of an individual tree. One of my greatest satisfactions comes from hearing from my customers. 
So recently at a bazaar, I met a woman from Colorado whose daughter-in-law had given her a bowl for Christmas. She came up to me, shook my hand, and I wrote this down because it, it was meaningful to me. She said, when I wake up each morning, I go to the kitchen and see the beautiful bowl you made for me. It's a bright spot at the beginning of every day for me. Well, when I hear that, I think it couldn't get much better than that. <laughs>